Um, so you click create new Xcode project. This is what I do at least when I want a new app. Uh, test name, whatever is down here. Great, this is just a test app. Cool, it's gonna go into tests. I hit create. Great, we have this test name app and this content view just as you would any other Swift UI app. Um, the only reason I have I start with a Swift UI is so that I can get this main pro main thing already set up correctly. And now from here, I hit file new, which you can't see because it's off screen. And then uh, there's an option for a package. Um, so I also save it inside the test name inside the same folder. Call it whatever you want. Uh, test kit. And we'll call it test name kit to keep up with this. Right, it's gonna go into test name. Um, you, you don't have to add it to any projects right now. So then just hit create. So now we have this uh, package here and this is everything that would be inside here. So what is it? Views, business logic, anything like that. Everything like that handles, gets handled inside this package here. Uh, now what I do is I hit close here and I go and I open finder. I go to the folder tests and go find the kit, the package you just made, drag and drop it in. And now you're able to de develop it at the same time. The last thing you have to do is import the packages. I think you just need to import the packages that you need inside the project, right? I mean, I always do. So like we have this test name kit, right? This library and this target. So inside the project here, I click here, I import the kit, I hit add, and now it's done. So now we can do like, uh, what is the source? What's the thing here? Cool, we have a public struct, test name kit dot text. So now we can call text uh, import test name kit. Dot text. And there it is. And this is coming from the test name kit. From package. Cool. And it's coming from the package. And you can do that with views or anything now at this point. Now that you have it so brought in. So if I hit new file here, I can just put in a new Swift UI view. Let's call it test view. Test view. Things get a little trickier here just because you need to account for some things. Hello world in test view, but we can definitely do this. Let's make it a public struct so that we can access it in outside of the package. Public knit. Uh, view is only available. And then you start running into some of these things like view is only available in iOS 13.0 or newer. So what you can do from here to avoid this error is you go into your package file, right? Where we manage dependencies, you manage what products you're making, your test targets, stuff like that. There is a platforms field. And then inside platforms, we can be specific and say, I want iOS, whatever version you want. Uh, I always say V16 because I like to target the newer stuff um, for this. And then this should go away. And we have one more issue is that to be compatible with the view type, this also, since it's public, that also needs to be public. This has been built just like any other view. And now we can go back into con and into even just the main app here, import test name kit and we can call test view. And then if I run the app, we're gonna grab that test view. And it should look the same as that simulator that we just had. I mean, as that preview. Um, so that's like how you can like start doing things in packages and start breaking it up that way. Uh, would I split up having multiple packages like one for main UI and one for business logic etc yeah so um I'm very much under the like I really like micro apps I think uh I think you found me 
after I was on this whole soapbox of micro app architecture, but I thoroughly am a fan of this micro app architecture here where you basically just have feature modules and this like the TCA composable architecture really plays into this a lot as well. Um, but I'm a really big fan of basically you break your, your app into features and you try to compose those features is like one each is like a different library in that package. So like, um, um, so you have these different libraries and then you have the different targets that can live all inside this one app. Um, so I like having the, the same package and it sounds like Duckface does too. Um, I like having just one package for the entire project rather than having different packages. I would just have different libraries. So like test name kit is here. Um, I would also then have like a, like you could then have a different like, um, we, we could do like test name views, right? And inside here, whoops, no, don't go away. This like technically test view in my mind would go under test name views and like the kit would be used for more of like models and stuff like that. Like different things that would be, that you'd wanna share around the different library packages rather than like unique to test name view. Um, and now it's gonna cause the whole app to crash but we can fix that and add in another library. Test name views. Cool, so now we technically have two, two libraries in here or two different targets that you can build to you. Test name kit, which has that um, string in it. And then test name views, which has this test view in it. Notice though that we can't find a test view in scope because we haven't imported the, um, we haven't added, we haven't imported it. So I think, and you can see test views, test name views aren't there because it's not added at this point. So we could go ahead and just add it here for ease. And then inside here, now we can test name views. Content view can say the same because it's the same, but we should be able to run it and see still the same thing. Test name views has the view and then test name kit has like the, that weird string in it. And this is definitely what I like as well. Like I like to do, break it up into like different feature sets for in the package rather than like Here's a package for views. Here's a package for all my business logic. Um, I really like it to be as like modular and as small as possible, which sometimes gets me a lot of packet, a lot of targets, but it totally like works at the end of the day, I think. 